There may be hope for paralyzed humans who wish to walk again uh, in the form of a flexible implant from researchers in Switzerland who have successfully experimented upon rats that had been paralyzed. Let's take a look. Neural implants are a system designed to study and treat the injured nervous system. The most popular one is the cochlear implant that restores hearing. There are multiple technologies available, but in the long term, very often they trigger inflammation and even rejection by the host. Our innovation is that we've designed an implant that is soft and stretchable, just like the surrounding tissue. The implant integrates electrical stimulation and chemical stimulation, yet remain fully elastic. Using this implant, we've been able to restore locomotion in paralyzed animals, and this not only over short time lab experiments, but also over weeks of implantation, and this without injuring the spinal cord. So uh, the way this works is implanted under the membrane that attach is over the spinal cord and the brain, and it's called the E-dura, and it's supposed to, to mimic that living tissue and be able to uh, have a higher chance of not being rejected. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really amazing to see how far we've come when it comes to this, this type of procedure, and basically it just serves as a, as a skip. If you have a, a break in your spinal cord, you can just go around it with this thing and still send those signals down to your legs and still send them back up to the brain. Amazing. I, I'm really excited to see what can happen when they start working with humans. This seems like uh, maybe a better alternative to external uh, devices to help uh, bring back locomotion. Yeah, so the idea with this, uh, this new implant, um, they, they improved on two things. One is that they made it not just flexible but also soft. Mm -hmm. So previous like, versions of this, um, if they would implant it on top of the brain or on top of the spinal cord, um, if it was too rigid, then it could become decoupled from the biological tissue or it could sort of tear into tissue and mess things up. Um, and it, it, it often needs to be flexible as an animal moves. Um, so they've made prior flexible ones, but at the microscopic level, they're still rigid and like rough. Mm -hmm. So this is both flexible and soft. Mm -hmm. um, and, that's the, and then the second innovation is that they managed to make it last for six weeks before the immune system started to recognize it as a foreign agent and attack it. So there's obviously still some work to be done, and I think there's certain coatings that they could perhaps put on the outside of that. I know I, I did a story with artificial spider web, and they found that if they dipped things that were normally getting rejected in spider web silk, that they wouldn't get rejected. They'd basically become invisible to the human body. So there's all sorts of things that can be done. And what I love about this area of research is there are people tackling this problem from a variety of angles. Mm -hmm. People trying to do this. There are people who are actually using parts of your, um, the part of your brain that smells, that processes smell. Um, those neurons in there are really good at regenerating. And they've actually been taking those cells and putting them into your spinal column. And that has been working pretty well to regenerate. So. There's some people looking at on the cellular level, some people are looking at this type of device, other people are, like you said, these kind of external devices to help people walk. All these approaches, eventually, we're gonna get there. So audience, it doesn't seem like there is a downside for me, but what do you think of this uh, flexible, soft implant that could possibly help uh, paralyzed people and animals walk again? Let us know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.